call, appropriately enough, if you just went through 10 days of awe, New Year. Beth Moon, Beth Moon, out of reach of civilization, Baobab recorder, you look for age, immense size, uncommon history, platinum printing symmetries embedding luminosity for another thousand years. Barn-sized trunks and heavy roots, coiled fire hoses you take in, spot 20 birds' nests bulging from the high boughs on the sunny side of ancient growth. Beth Moon, even the sparse foliage on carrot-fingered sprouts dry beached in dunes yield perfect dogbane blossoms, plumeria at their tips. For 14 years, your photos give perspective to the sense in planting kisses on old growth. Black and white, silver and gray, you capture trunks like Peter Doig paints tropical trees in shade, revealing massive crows and giant rabbits hidden in the bark. A slave in a kerchief, head bowed down but turned, a capped cop looking up. Old trees like dragons, Climb Mount Temple tiles on roots of twisted thigh, thrashing tail and winding neck ten meters up. Old age, Beth Moon, colossal times pass over twig top bouquets, straggler figs at Angor Wat I'm never going to see, forests in Cambodia where most of nature dies. You preserve it, where Shogun Tokugawa Leyasu found game, you do homage to the lay of the land. Bring that record here, still glowing in the light. Now, if I get through this poem and you live through it too, I think we should all celebrate. I don't know if I can really read this. It's called Facing a Phobia. It's not an easy poem anyway. If I had become a cartoonist like Terry Mosher, or sit here, Tailang, selecting cognitive dissonances out of thin air. Target variants I deplore, celebrity rapists to skewer. Tyrannous music MCs allegedly cruel in the act of sex. Or maybe the cops who shot the homeless fellow wielding a hammer. After all, once that was my aim to fiddle with pencil in some manner. On fine white linen drawing some men bug-eared all right. Could I have survived an assault on my artwork awkwardly poking fun? Would I see closer to the Charlie Hebdo disaster as jihadist gunmen run? Or would gendarmes be reading my eyes like those of the woman in kneecap, a top and a baya in Saturday's Gazette? Hoist pencil in air, plaque saying, Je suis Charlie, I think therefore not of aminus, but of other things I see. Nigerian showdowns in Madiguri, Kaduna and coming home parties for bloggers, particularly Rafe Badawi, father of three, flogged weekly in Egypt, Syrian orphans galore, Haitian tent dwellers too, five years after a quake, social storms hit shore. Surely for this there must be cartoons and cartoonists, boxes of pencils too, but how to go about it, even today, get interactive online without firebomb fears for pointing out problems to save unmet kin in time. Too big, the joke and the bullet. Better for me the choices I made. Stéphane Chabonnier and cohorts are sleeping, their facets of truth indelible, their courage to tickle elephants in the room. Bravery will never fade. <laughs>